In this week's video, I'm going to take you back to Red Rock Canyon in Las Vegas, Nevada. Okay, so I've decided I'm going to go ahead and take you along on this hike here at the Lost Creek Children's Discovery Trail. It is 8 a.m. and it is already super hot and I don't have my hat and it's only going to get hotter from here. So if I have any chance of getting any kind of a hike in today, it's going to be right now. So I'm going to take you along and see what we can find. And you know I'm all about budget-friendly family activities when you're on vacation. So let me show you what's here. Now this looks like a neat place on the way to uh, Willow Spring. There's a pull-off Lost Creek Children's Discovery Trail. They say there's a lot of interesting features for children to look at. It's a relatively easy hike. There's petroglyphs and some agave pit sites. That looks like only 0.6 miles. Starts out right here, right behind the sign straight away. It looks like we're just headed right back to the same petroglyph wall where we were before. I don't know. Nice, clear, paved, not really paved, but a very clear trail is always good for kids. And watch out for the occasional poopy left behind. Watch your step. No chance of getting lost. These signs really help guide you on the trail so you know which way to go, which trail you're on. We're going to go through this wash. I'm really hoping to find some mountain goats up in these cliffs. I guess I gotta take the time to actually stop and look once in a while. There's a few flies coming to visit me. You know, when you're on these hikes, your feet really make a lot of noise on the rocks. And if you just stop, it's so quiet. Now, here's one of the stops. They talked about these agave fire pits. Let's see what it says up here. prehistoric kitchen. This was a very busy seasonal camp for Native Americans. It says they baked food in the donut-shaped mounds scattered throughout the Red Rock Canyon. That's interesting. They were called agave roasting pits. And then they found many bones from rabbits, tortoises, bighorn sheep, and plant seeds in the roasting pits. So. I don't really see what I would consider one of those mounds. Of course, I don't know exactly what I'm looking for, but it's a nice shady spot. This, I wonder if this is part of it right here. Some noisy birds in the distance. And you can smell the pinon and cedar in this area. Reminds me of hiking back home in the mountains. This is a nice spot. There are the kids. They're down here. I can hear them. Didn't get my quiet for too long.
Let me go up, up, and away. Now this is an interesting sign. This is the opposite direction of where I'm hiking. And what I don't know is if they're telling me to go back the way I came on my hike, or if they're telling me to go up here. Um, this doesn't look easy. And it said it was a 0.85 miles easy in this direction. So I'm thinking this is not what they were talking about. I certainly would love to see a spring right now. But I'm just gonna keep on hiking. Don't get distracted. Lost Creek Children's Discovery Trail. Kids love playing on rocks like this. So I can see why this would be such an exciting trail for kids. Lots of rocks to climb. But if you're coming in early August, you better come early. Look at this. That's cool. Okay, marker three. I bet it's gonna be for this big rock here. Look how cool that is. I'm gonna get a GoPro shot so you can see all around me. I'm gonna bring my GoPro, so going to show you the views here. Beautiful rock formations. Amazing. Shade. Feels fantastic. And then views out this way as well. Stop number three here they have protected an area of critical environmental concern it's awfully beautiful these rocks and these trees I think they're trying to keep them untouched so we will respect that The different cactus, the yucca, the choya, the prickly pear. I do know these prickly pear, yucca, choya, and they do bloom in certain times of the year. It'd be really beautiful. I'm surprised to see a few big pine trees too. This must be another area, hunting and gathering. Wow, look at that. That's beautiful. I think it's picture time. Bug, I have seen flying. Let's see if I can catch it flying. I hope it doesn't come towards me. Is it a beetle? I thought it was some sort of a wasp or a bee. That looks like a beetle. And when it flies, its legs are dangling like a big monster. Okay, well, I'm not gonna stick around for that. This is fun for kids. You never know what's going to be around each corner. Looks like they're just protecting all the, I don't know if that's scrub oak 
I'm not exactly, I don't know my plants that well. Okay, there's a turn in the road. This way or this way. You didn't really tell me which way to go. Let's go see what's up here. So I'm a little disappointed I see wipes, like Clorox wipes or something. Maybe somebody went to the bathroom down here, but I hate it when I see people leaving their trash in a beautiful nature area. I need to be careful I don't get lost since I'm here by myself, but it looks like there's, like these make some little steps right here. So I wanna go up and see what's there. And I really wanna get a picture of this cute little bird that I hear chirping at me. I'm going to sit down a second. I'm thinking I may ought to turn back around soon. And my phone's getting kind of hot. This goes way back in here. So this is fantastic. You can go way back. Let's see, this is not working. You follow these steps, you can come along this ridge and you can go way back and it's shady and there's birds, it's beautiful. I just don't wanna to go too far and by myself and I don't really know where I'm at. And I don't wanna get off trail cause I'm not, it's not really marked. So I'm not 100% sure this is part of the actual trail, but man, if I had time to spare and the weather was nice, this would be a great place to come and bring, like, picnic food. I think I might have gotten off the trail, although it's fabulously beautiful. I don't want to go too far because I don't want to get lost. I'm here by myself, not really familiar with the area. Um, but I've seen bluebirds and I've seen birds with little golden and you can hear them chirping and it's shady. Uh, this would be a fantastic stop. So when you see the fork in the road, hang right and kind of follow the steps and you'll see a hidden oasis. It's really nice, but I'm gonna head back, make sure I don't get lost. So I just saw a family come by with a little kid and the little kid told his parents that he was in the jungle. And I can see why, maybe grapevines here? And this little bridge, how fun is this? Grapes. Okay, maybe they're not grapes. That's actually a different. Okay, I'm overheating. I gotta turn it off for a while. I found the water. So my cell phone overheated. I'm kind of new at the vlogging thing. And my cell phone couldn't handle it. Now I have my zoom lens, so I'm not gonna be able to get the best footage, but I'm zooming in on the spring. Awesome. And there's this little bridge here. It's gonna be terrible because I'm too zoomed in, but there's a bridge here and it's very lush and beautiful.
just tell you that I ended up on Lost Creek Trail. I didn't come back on the Children's Trail, and I'm not quite sure where I turned. I mean, it's about the same area. This is Lost Creek Trail, and the Kids Trail is just right over there. So, you know, I'm not too far off. Cars are over there, so it's not a big deal, but leave it to me. I always tend to get lost.